Greetings, Queen Reverend Richie here with Queen of Forces Healing Ministries. Happy Libra season. Happy, happy, happy Hoodoo Heritage Month. Happy Holy Halloween. All these wonderful things. Happy Justice season. All right. So here we are with the Major Arcana card for our current um, Zodiac season which most of us know as Libra. This card is one of my favorite cards, yes. And as you will see here, this card comes from the Miss Cleo deck, my most favoritist deck in the whole wide world. And the, I probably have a picture on the thumbnail with, um, the Rider Waite Smith um, Justice card. This is my Cleo deck. Anyhow, so let's talk a little bit about the Justice card and what it can mean when you receive it in a reading. On most decks, or in most decks, the Justice card is shown as a woman, a female. And here, we are seeing the Justice coming through as Tehuti, or Tehuti, or Thoth, or Thoth, from ancient Kemet. So, it's the same energy overall, I'll put it that way. And oftentimes when we talk about justice, comedically speaking, we think of Ma'at um, and Tehuti, they, they balance each other out like the scales, they were in tandem. And he is known as a scribe, he's very intelligent, he is mercurial, he can speak different languages, help you learn different languages, and he is the one recording what's happening. And so these scales symbolize the balance of our heart, what we do, think, say, all the energy and activity that we are responsible for, which is all the energy and activity that we create, express give show in the world so he's reminding us about personal responsibility universal law everything is written everything is recorded rather maybe that's a better way to say this but he's taking note he's making a list checking it twice <laughs> are you naughty or nice if you have those preferences of saying naughty, nice, good, bad, balance, imbalance. Ultimately, balance is the key here. If we are doing our best to walk in integrity, then we will be able to balance our scales much more easier than if we weren't. So, the story basically goes that he is there in the afterlife, of course, with my aunt and there, with all this recording of what's going on, what's happening right now, you know, seeing what's going to go down as if he, he already knows what's going to go down because you already know what's going to go down. <laughs> Everybody really knows what's going to go down, whether it's subconsciously or not. We know what's going to go down when we weigh our heart on that scale. And this is a representation of daily life also. We are responsible for our actions, our thoughts, our feelings. And it is up to us to check in with ourselves, to look at a part of ourselves we may not want to see. As all of us know it, the shadow work. And right now, during this time, a very active happenings in the ethers 
you know, we have many unbodied individuals that are floating around. This time, we, we are working with the shadow. More so, the energy of the shadow is available to us. And it's not a negative thing. We need that because of balance. We need yin and yang. We got to have that. So, Hoodoo Heritage Month is honoring that energy, that ancestral energy. And speaking of, in the Hoodoo Tarot, we have Dr. Buzzard, which we're saying as our justice card. Look at the scales right here at the bottom right. And this would be his Lady of Justice. And she's wearing a mask. She has um, this herb. What does he call it? Oh, my goodness. It's two words, but the last one is Galango. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, Dr. Buzzard had, was known for helping people with court cases. A real man from South Carolina, from St. Helena. Shout out to my home state of South Carolina. Shout out, shout out. Okay, you know, he was what they would call a, a witch doctor, a root doctor. And that was his thing. He did his thing in the courtroom. A lot of people didn't have to get harsh punishments. Some of them got off. And it helps us to think about, again, what is right, what is wrong, and the idea of getting revenge because sometimes you have to balance your own skills because it may not happen in a court of law. Because a lot of the problems that we have with people can stem from spiritual stuff anyway. Past life, karma, and death. So, situations like that, you may not get your justice in a court system. You just may not. But justice is on many levels. So, Again, it's reminding us to check in with ourselves, look at the parts of ourselves that we may not want to see, but we need to. And so with the Goddess Guidance Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue, here we have Ma'at. And so the scales, it's always about the scales. So again, she is the counterpart to Jehuti. And their job is to help us keep those scales balanced. And sometimes the scales have to be balanced by uncomfortable means. We may not like things that are happening in our life, but we have to stop and take into consideration what may be happening here, what is out of balance. And how do I bring it back into balance? So, Libras, happy birthday again. Celebrate yourself. Libras love balance, harmony. Libras love love. Usually, they like to be partnered up if possible. They like to have fun. Very social usually. And it's beautiful because the Libra energy is the one that Again, reminds us to keep ourselves in check. And when Libras are operating out of their shadow, they can be very bad liars, gossipers, start a lot of confusion, throw your rock, hide your hand kind of stuff, um, and can be very aloof about it. It's very important that if you know a Libra and you bother them for no good reason, like, it's like their karma, your karma from doing that. The best way I can describe it is like it's a little bit more than what would happen if you did something to somebody else. If they're living balanced, you know, they have that extra oomph from the universe because they have a contract with that energy. So be careful about how you treat Libras. And Libras, be careful about how you treat people because it works the same for you as well. May the force of healing be with you always. Ashe.